Dr. Ifain Okowa, the former governor of Delta State, said that the allegation that he misappropriated 1.3 trillion oil derivation funds of the state while in office was childish and preposterous. He stated when he received the national leadership of Urobo Congress Union, UPU, led by its President General, Chief S.A. Owe, which paid him a solidarity visit at his residence in Asaba on Tuesday. Dr. Okawa, who was speaking publicly on the issue for the first time since his return from honoring an invitation by EFCC, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, said that he was not worried by the anti-craft agency's invitation because he was confident that he would come out clean, having served Dalton's well as governor. He disclosed that the petitioners were driven by mundane political considerations, but asserted that he would continue to support Governor Sheriff Oborivori to deliver on the mandate freely given to him by Dalton people. He also said the petition was written several months ago. But unfortunately, with the politics of our time, some people decided to ensure that Okawa must be invited by EFCC. People are genuinely uncomfortable about Okawa, and I was actually invited, and I went there by myself, and the first thing I saw was that they said I misappropriated $1.3 and I said, do you know the kind of money you are talking about? To successfully take 1.3 trillion, it means you have to be taking between 16 billion and 20 billion every month into your pocket. I don't even know if the president of this country will be able to do that, not to talk of the governor of the state. They have forgotten that the first in three years we came into office. 2015, 2016, and 2017, the money that was coming into the state was not even enough to pay salaries at all. Some local governments like Ethiopia East were owing as much as 15 month salaries, and even in the state here, some people were getting half salaries. Delta State is the highest salary paying state in this nation. Our salaries grew to the level that salaries and pensions went up to over 11 billion in a month. There are some states whose total staff strength is less than 18,000, but in Delta, we have over 56,000 workers. Dr. Ifan Yokowa also said, workers always receive their salaries promptly while we also embark on all the projects that we are done. And nobody thinks about it, especially the projects we did in the River Rhine areas. But I know that the people are not happy with those who wrote the petition. Personally, I am not against investigation because the EFCC has to do its job. And I know that I have done everything how it ought to be done, said Dr. Ifai Okawa. For every allegation, they will investigate, and when they have found the truth, they will stop. But for those who sent a wrong communication, it is rather unfortunate. He said, I just pray for them because when you allow yourself to be used as a tool, when the evil starts to come, the impact will be so much. But I pray that God will forgive them. I know that by the special grace of God, we have done the things we ought to do to the best of our abilities. And by the special grace of God, Governor Borivori is beginning to do a lot. He said, I believe that by next year, he will do a lot more. So let me assure you that I will continue to support the UPU and the governor of the state as much as I can because I know that he has a lot to offer. He commended the UPU for its support to him over the years, saying, I thank the UPU and the Urobos because they supported me a lot and they also believe in equity because I always got more votes from them than their sons who contested against me. Earlier, the President General of UPU had said, 
that their visit was to thank the former governor for supporting their son, right Honorable Sheriff Borivori, to emerge as the governor of the state. So, my country people, this one, now the matter concerning the EFCC and Dr. Ifai Okawa, the former governor of Delta State. Thank you very much for watching GMTV. Rosalind reporting.